It's now been one month since Madison Metro's transit redesign went into place and the reviews are mixed. After weeks of collecting feedback from riders, Metro Transit is now ready to make a few changes. Braden Ross joins us to explain. Braden. Yeah, just a few hours ago, Madison's Transportation Commission unanimously approved a number of minor changes to the new routes. But for some riders I talked to today, small tweaks just aren't enough. We knew it wasn't going to be perfect. One month after Metro Transit's complete route overhaul, many riders still aren't convinced. To mess up a whole complete system that was nothing wrong. Why fix something that's not broken? But Metro Transit Chief Development Officer Mick Roosh says that's something they planned for. This is a work in progress. We've always known that we weren't going to have it, you know, hit it 100% uh, on, on the head the first time around. Over the last month, Metro Transit has heard the complaints. Some of the buses are running a little slow. Uh, customers are giving us feedback. They're not running often enough. And there are some issues over by the UW Hospital. And now they're ready to do some tweaking. These are not giant changes. We are listening and we are doing our best to adjust as we as best we can. They can only make changes four times a year when drivers pick new shifts. The next shift pick in August will see the first adjustments, minor schedule changes and more frequent buses on certain routes and a few extra stops to get riders closer to the hospital. But the tweaks don't address one of the biggest concerns. There is like a like, you know, a lot of handicapped people and elderly people on the bus and they're going to have to be walking through the snow and stuff, and that's not going to be nice. Roosh says that's a whole other can of worms, but one Metro Transit is ready to open. That's definitely on our radar and definitely an, uh, a separate project that we are working on right now. But still, given the choice between the new and the old, many are still wishing they could go back in time. I'd go back to the old one. Now these changes will go into effect sometime in August and you can head to channel3000.com to see all the details on what's changing.